Hello friends today's project is code security lock using this simple circuit you can secure your house by installing a code lock at the main gate the unique code of lock is only known to you the gate will open only if you press the correct code otherwise the circuit will reset and the gate will not open we will use eight push buttons to set a code let us take a look at the component list to develop this project you need to have two ic4013 d flip flop ics a 12V LM7812 voltage regulator IC, a BC557 PNP transistor, a 2N2219 NPN transistor, a bridge rectifier, a 5mm LED, a 1N4007 rectifier diode, eight push buttons, a 12V relay, a transformer, some resistors, some capacitors, few jumper wires, and a breadboard. Let us take a look at the circuit now. The transformer, bridge rectifier, and voltage regulator IC is used to give a fixed supply to our circuit. We are using a battery here in place of these components to power up our circuit with 12 volt. Apart from these, you can see eight push buttons that we will use to set a unique code. Main IC here is D flip flop IC, and this is a Darlington pair transistor to drive the relay. The relay output is set in the gate the way you want to set. We have set code as 8265. From this circuit, you can see we have connected clock of first D flip flop. That is IC 2A to switch 8, IC 2B clock to switch 2, IC 3A clock to switch 6, and IC 3B clock to switch 5. You can set any code of your choice by connecting the specific switches to D flip flops. The circuit is made as such that if you press any other push button other than the correct code, the circuit will reset and the door will not open. You can see the circuit completely made on the breadboard. You can also connect this circuit with the help of a circuit diagram. Don't forget to take a common VCC and common ground pin to your circuit. This is a D flip flop IC. This is a DIP package IC with 14 pins. It has a set, reset, and clear pins. One IC has two flip flops. Hence, we have two such ICs as we needed four D flip flops in our circuit. Pin number three and pin eleven of IC are clocks of D flip flops. Hence, you can see from the circuit diagram we have connected switch eight and two to pin three and pin eleven of the first IC and the switch six and five to pin three and pin eleven of second IC. All other switches are connected to the set pin of the IC. This means if someone press some other switch, the circuit will reset and will never open. We have connected five switches for testing. Let us see the demonstration now. First, connect the power supply to the circuit. I have pressed the eighth switch and then second switch, then sixth switch, and lastly fifth switch. This LED is on the represent that the gate is open now. In place of the relay, we have used this LED. As you have seen, we have pressed eight, two, six, five, and the gate is open. Now to reset, press any switch. After reset, if you press the correct code, the gate will not open. This is a very secure system. Intruders cannot even enter with a hit and trial method. After reset, once you turn off and on the power, circuit will start working properly. Here you can see after connecting the power again, if you press eight two six five, the LED is on. If you press any other sequence like eight two six one five, it is not opening. The output of the last D flip flop is going to the relay driving transistor as visible in the circuit diagram. Hence, when you press the correct code, the relay driving transistor energizes and the gate opens. This circuit has various applications like you can use this in your home at shop in your car cycle or any other vehicle etc to connect this circuit at the main gate make this circuit on a general pcb and put it in a box with push buttons visible to the users this is all about this project we hope you liked it do implement this project at home and let us know your experience thank you